Today I'm putting two heavy hitters head to head. The classic Speedy 30 and a tote that's very comparable to the Neverfull MM. I'm going to tell you what I think at the end of this video, but I want to hear in the comments below. Do you think it is fair to compare? Hello and welcome to the Luxury Hybrid Channel. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to stop by and spend a few minutes with me. The organizer that I'm going to use to help me with this comparison today is by a company called Fit In. This organizer I chose in the size extra large and it comes with two handles so that you can easily transport it from different bags. It also has an exterior large slit pocket. Inside you'll find three partition pockets that are removable with snap closure. On one side you have three slit pockets and then on the other side you have two larger slit pockets with two larger compartments on either side of the partition. The handles are protected by this vegan material for additional durability. And on the opposite side of the large pocket there are three exterior slit pockets. I just want to show you quickly how easy it is to navigate through the website. So as soon as you log in, you'll be able to see that you can choose your denomination from whichever country you're ordering from. And then once you do that, you click on the scroll down menu and there are options to choose by brand or by size. And I chose by Louis Vuitton. Now you can choose from a Neverfull PM all the way up to an Alma BB. And these Organizers come in beautiful colors. There's like a really nice assortment of colors that might help match the interior of your bag. So these are great options. Um, you can also see by Chanel, there's the Maxi Hobo, the Gabrielle Large Hobo, the Jumbo, then there's also the Longchamps La Pliage from Small to Large, the Mulberry Bayswater Totes all the way to the Setons, and then you have your Celine's Luggage Small, Medium, Large, and Let's not forget Hermes, the Birkin bag. <laughs> um, once again, as I said, when you scroll through, you'll see all the beautiful assortment of colors that there are available. And if you stay till the end of this video, I will be able to provide you with a coupon code. And if you do pick up one of these organizers, please remember to tag me because I would love to see what you think about it and what colors you chose and what bags you're putting them in. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. Remember to give me a thumbs up if you got value out of this video because I'm here to provide the best value that I possibly can. So let's get into the comparison. Here's the Speedy completely empty without the organizer. And here's the tote completely empty. It's probably hard to tell from this angle, but this is the organizer inside of the Speedy 30. And I just have the phone all the way inside so you can get a good look of what it looks like inside. So now we have the organizer in the tote and the first thing I'm going to take out is my camera that I've been often bringing with me when I go out and about. So let's move over to this side middle pocket. I'm going to pull out this cologne that was gifted to me over the summer. This was very convenient to carry around with me. I still have to switch back to my Louis Vuitton. The next thing is a pen that I like to carry with me. Taking out my key fob and my fiance's key fob because sometimes I have to move his car. Going now to the next corner pocket of the middle partition uh, is my six key holder. I also have my round coin purse. I'm going to grab this by the handles to show you how easy this is to just pull out of your bag. Now I just want to make one more comment about this. From the width at the base, this is very comparable to the Neverfull MM. At the top, it narrows just a little bit. I believe that the Neverfull MM is a bit wider, but when you grab it by the handles, it's just so much easier to take out when you want to switch out bags. So now you have a better view of what it looks like internally. On this outer pocket, I have a Louis Vuitton notebook, but you could also put a small agenda in there if you wanted to. On the internal pockets, there are three on one side and then two larger ones on the other. I have a hand sanitizer. In the middle, I, <laughs> I have my Oyster card still from London. I, you know what, when I left, I still had 10 pounds 20 pence I believe still on the card so I couldn't get my refund but um, I was also carrying a, a metro card in here too 
but it just gives me fond memories of London. I really miss that city. Okay, so now moving along to this other third internal pocket are some mints that I have from Starbucks. These are actually really, really awesome. If you have the opportunity to pick these mints up, I highly recommend them. Now we're moving into the two main compartments that are either side of the partition pockets. I have from my Pochette Felici um, the card holder. I have some cash in here as well. And the other insert, because I'm carrying my checkbook in here lately. Then I have my portable battery charger for my cell phone. In this drawstring bag from Henry Bendel, I thought it was very convenient to carry all of my phone essentials so i have my charging cable i have a plug for the wall and i even have my earbuds rolled in here i found this to be a lot more convenient than using a poche and now i have my cell phone here is a mini poche that i'm using to carry makeup i have two lipsticks a blush brush that I picked up in a brush set from Amazon. A blush from Milani. This is such a beautiful color and I love how the impression of it looks like a camellia from Chanel. The color that I have here is Romantic Rose in number one. And then the last thing is a dual sided mirror. The last four items that I have are these two mini pochets in the larger interior pockets. This one is carrying my reward cards that are about as thick as a credit card. And this one is carrying business cards and also reward cards. For example, when you get your nails done, they mark off how many manicures you have. When you get 10, you get a free manicure, that sort of thing. And then on the outer pocket on the other side, there's three smaller ones. I have this uh, card holder here that I got from Sephora. I've, I've actually never used it. It's got two pockets in the front, these cute little lips, and then there's an interior pocket in the middle. Um, no card slots in the back, but I just thought for the show of how much you can hold in here. And then, of course, my trusty Bashia blotting papers. Uh, one last thing I wanted to show you is how you can easily unsnap the inside so that if you wanted to just carry it with all, some extra room as you can see mine is so dirty because I've been using this non-stop since I got it I love it so much I think that it is well constructed I love that it's got these handles here because I was even thinking if you wanted to use the center and just put makeup brushes in here and maybe some foundations and some sprays or some makeup palettes. I mean, this might be a little lightweight makeup case for you, like maybe for travel or something like that. And I'm going to be able to offer you a 15% code off of your first purchase from FitIn. Now, in terms of room from the top of the organizer to the top of the bag, I would say if I wanted to reorganize a few things in here, I might be able to take this little notebook out and put it to the side here. Let's try a sunglass case right on top and a scarf, if you were wearing a scarf. Somehow I feel like I can get this agenda book in here. This seems like it would be the same size as a Louis Vuitton MM Agenda. Maybe, ah, let's try this. Let's try moving everything in here to the outside pocket, including the notebook. Okay, so if I put it in the long way first, then it fits the agenda and I can zip it up and it doesn't look distorted. Okay, so my final thoughts on comparability. Um, I have put everything back into the tote bag, the larger agenda size, the sunglass case, and also the scarf. You know, just for the ease of carrying something over your shoulder, if I were to fill it up completely to the brim, it would make it difficult when you wanted to compact the top part so that your arm could fit through easily this way and then stay nicely on your shoulder. 
Um, however, if this were a never full MM, I might have a little bit more leeway on the top portion here, but still it's that added extra weight onto your shoulder that you would want to think about. Do you really want to have that added extra weight? So personally, I find that this could be somewhat comparable. I mean, the Speedy 30 for sure definitely can hold its own. You cannot doubt what a powerhouse this bag is. And imagine if this were a 35. So, um, I mean, to me, they run neck and neck. Uh, I do think that this might beat it out a little bit more if you had emergency stuff to put on top. But all in all, um, I think it was a pretty good, a pretty good standoff between the two. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I've had this organizer for a little over two weeks and I took my time before I put up a review because I wanted to give you my honest review. I will only choose companies that I actually I believe in, um, but I will always test the product out 100% thoroughly to make sure that I'm bringing you the best value that I possibly can. So for anyone who's interested in purchasing one of these handbag organizers, please use the code luxury and fit in to get 15% off. I will make sure to link it down below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I invite you to follow me on all of my socials at the luxury hybrid on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. I've just started a blog also, so go over there and check me out on blogloving.com forward slash the luxury hybrid. Remember to smile always and I will see you in my next video. I invite you to follow me on all of my socials and I invite you to follow me on all of my socials at the luxury hybrid on Instagram, Snapchat. Blah, 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 blah. I invite you to follow me on all of my socials at the luxury hybrid on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. <laughs> Snapchat, Snapchat, Snapchat.